Hello everyone, welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of VT Workshop, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of aptitude. Now, aptitude is one of the uh, uh, most talked about subjects of the BIT Triple E exam, and the reason is because a lot of these questions aren't prepared, uh, aren't necessarily be the scope of most of the school syllabi. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at aptitude questions and look at how to solve them in some detail. So let's start off. Our first question is of blood relations. Shika is the mother-in-law of Ekta, who is the sister-in-law of Ankit. Pankaj's father, Pankaj is the father of Sanjay, the only brother of Ankit. So now we have to relate how Shika is related to Ankit. So, how do we solve this question? For blood relations, the best way to solve it is by using a family tree. But how do we start off the family tree? Because if you start it off the wrong way, then you don't really, when you won't be able to get it right. So, when it comes to the family tree, let's start with the order, order of the question. Shika is the mother-in-law of Ekta. So, from there, we know that Ekta is married to Shika's son. And we don't know who, who the son is just yet. But what we know from the same sentence is that Ekta is the sister-in-law of Ankit. Now we don't know exactly whether it's... Well, yeah, it's definitely sister-in-law, so therefore it's the husband's brother. So Ankit is the husband's brother. Next, Pankaj is the father of Sanjay. So... We have another person here, Pankaj, and his son is Sanjay. Now, how is Sanjay related to this family? Sanjay is the only brother of Ankit. Now, we know that Ekta is the sister-in-law of Ankit, so that means Ekta married the brother of Ankit. And since Pankaj is the only brother that Ankit has, Pankaj has to be Ekta's husband. I mean, not Pankaj, I mean, Sanjay is Ekta's husband. So let's retrace our steps here, okay? Pankaj is Sanjay's father, and Sanjay is the only brother of Ankit. And since Ekta married Ankit's brother to be his sister-in-law, so therefore Sanjay is Pankaj's son and Ankit's brother, only brother, in fact. So, since Pankaj is also Ankit's dad, we know that Shika is their mother. So therefore, the relation between Shika and Ankit is that of mother. So Shika is the mother of Ankit. We don't know of Ankit having a wife, and we don't know of an aunt. Ekta's mother would be Ankit's aunt, but it's not given here as well. So therefore, the only relation that holds is option D, mother. Next question. In a queue of children, Arun is 5th from the left and Suresh is 6th from the right. When they interchange their places among themselves, Arun becomes 13th from the left. Then what will be Suresh's position from the right? So, since we're looking at a queue here, the question is of ranking test. So, um, we have a queue of children. And what we know is that Arun is 5th from the left and Suresh is 6th from the right in that particular queue. And what they do is they interchange their positions. So what happens is that Arun goes into Suresh's position and Suresh goes into, into Arun's position. Now after interchanging, Arun finds himself 13th from the left. So we know that during interchanging, Arun's new position is Suresh's old position. 
Now, Suresh's old position is described as sixth from the right, and Arun, the same position which is now occupied by Arun, is described as thirteenth from the left. Now, this is a critical part of ranking tests. So, when they interchange positions, one of the two positions would have um, a position from the left and a position from the right allocated to it. Now, this is what helps us to find the total number of children in that queue. So, how do we find the total number of children? We have the two positions. We have the two uh, categories of positions, one from the left and one from the right. So, they are basically the same position. So, if I don't stand here, this is the number of people on the left, number of people on the right. Um, he is described as 6th from the right and 13th from the left. So that means there are 12 people f uh, on the left side of Arun and 5 people on his right. So therefore, when we have to calculate the number of children, what we do is we take the two positions, add them together, and then subtract 1. And the answer that we get is 18. Now, how do we do this? Now, when we take the positions and add them together, Arun's position is described twice, right? He's described as the 6th from the right and the 13th from the left. So both of these are inclusive sets. So Arun is ca counted twice. So therefore, we need to remove one of those measurements. So we'll have a minus 1 added to it. So 13 plus 6 minus 1 turns out to be 18. So the total number of children are 18. Now. Remember, when they interchange their places, Suresh's new position is equal to Arun's old position. Now, in the question, Arun was initially described as fifth from the left. We don't know what's uh, that position from the right side, but we can you know, consider it to be x. Now, using the same formula that we use for Arun's new position, we can find out Suresh's new position as well. What we do is simply substitute Suresh's new position as x, Arun's old position from the left is 5, and then minus 1 gives you 18, the total, because the total is not going to change no matter what. So, all we have to do is, well, 5 minus 1 gives you 4, and we can take that 4 to the right hand side so therefore what we get is x equals 18 plus 1 minus 5 which is 18 minus 4 which is equal to 14th so therefore x corresponds to the 14th position so Arun's old position that's fifth from the left is it would now turn out to be Suresh's new position which is 14th from the right so option B 14th turns out to be the right answer Let's look at this question. It's from coding and decoding. In a certain code language, safer is written as 5 at the rate 3 hashtag 2. Ride is written as 2 copyright symbol percentage hashtag. We need to find out how the word feds would be written. So, if you look at this particular code, you see that the code is with letter with numbers and symbols now earlier we've taken codes which involve letters now when it comes to letters you can usually um, uh, find out a relation between the word the letter of the word and the letter of the code from the alphabetical order however when it comes to numbers and symbols we cannot use that method the method we're using is transposition. So basically what we're doing is we're write we're making sure that the first letter of the first number or symbol of the code is the first letter of the word. So we would assign um, a code to a letter and using that we would construct the new letter in new new word in code. Now let's see how that's done. We know that safer is written as five at the rate three hashtag two, so therefore 
we can analyze that S would be 5, A would be at the rate, F would be 3, E would be hashtag, and R would be 2. So these are all going to be the same. Similarly, if you look at ride, R I D E, you can see that it's written as 2, copyright symbol, percentage, and hashtag. So by analyzing both these words, you can see that R is 2 on both sides, on both these letters, I mean both these words, and the letter E is hashtag on both these words. So therefore, our approach turns out to be correct. So we, we, equi we, write, we equate the symbol on the code with the letter that on the same position. So that's how we solve codes involving numbers and symbols. Now we have the word feds to be transcribed to that code. So we have F, we have E, we have D, and then we have S. F, when we look at safer, F is represented by three. E is represented by hashtag on both safer and ride. D is represented by percentage symbol. Um, <clears throat> on ride and S is represented by five in safer. So the code for feds is three hashtag percentage five. And if you look at the options, you can see that option C turns out to be the right option. Option D would transcribe to F E D R, which is wrong. Option A would transcribe to F E I S, which is also wrong, and option B would transcribe to F A D S. So therefore, options A, B, and C are uh, A, B, and D are incorrect because those options do not transcribe to the word feds. So therefore, option C is the only option that turns out to be correct here. Next question. Find the missing number from the given response. So this has to do with um, relations with figures. Now when it comes to figure questions, you usually have a couple of smaller numbers connected to a larger number. So in these types of questions, usually what happens is that we operate the four external numbers to get the central number or the internal number. So this operation can be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, or even a combination of the four operations. You can also have exponents, etc., but that's a different story. Now when we look at 72, we have the external numbers as 4, 2, 3, and 3. So let's try out multiplication first. 4 times 2 times 3 times 3. 4 twos are 8, 3 threes are 9, 9 eights are 72. So therefore, for the first figure, multiplication holds. What about the second figure? We have 9 times 4 times 10 times 2. So 9 fours are 36, 10 twos are 20, which is equal to 72. I mean 720. So as you can see, once again, the multiplication holds here. So multiplying all the four external numbers gives you the central number. So in order to find out the missing number here, represented by the question mark, what we have to do is multiply the external numbers here. We have 6, we have 20, we have another 6, and we have a 1. So 6 times 6 times 20 times 1 would give you the central number. 6 6 is our 36. 36 times 20 is 720 times 1 is 720. So therefore, 720 option B turns out to be the right option. So people might be misled by thinking 38 or 7, 7200. 7200 would be right because of, you know, 720 being repeated already. But it turns out 720 is the right option. So all the other options turn out to be incorrect because the form, the the relation between the four external numbers and the internal number is that the internal number is the product of all the external numbers. And that's how we found out that 
Option B, 720, is the right option. Now let's look at the final question for the day. This question, let's look at it. In the, if the first and second letters in the word depression were interchanged, also the third and fourth letters, the fifth and sixth letters, and so on, then which of the following would be the seventh letter from the right? Is it O, is it P, is it R, is it S? So technically, this is a question of ranking test. Now, why is that? Because we're interchanging letters for one thing, and for another thing, we're looking at a letter which is ranked seventh from the right, even though we're using an actual word here. So this counts as a question from ranking test. Now, the idea is to interchange the first and second letters, the third and fourth letters, the fifth and sixth letters, and so on. So if we were to break up the word depression like this, we have D E P R E S S I O N. Now we would need to interchange the two letters. So the first position, the first would go to the second and the second would go to the first and so on. We would get E D R P S E I S and O. So the so the combination of letters we're getting is E D R P S E I S N O. This is how depression would look like if we uh, interchange the couple couplets, the five couplets here. So the first and second letters are interchanged, the third and fourth are interchanged, the fifth and sixth are interchanged, the seventh and eighth are interchanged, and the last two letters are also interchanged. Now, what's our question? What is the seventh letter from the right if all, the if all these letters were interchanged as per the question? Well, let's find out. The rightmost letter would be one, then we have two, this would be, S would be the third letter, I would be the fourth letter, E would be the fifth letter, S would be the sixth letter, and P would be the seventh letter, as we move towards the left. So the letter P turns out to be the seventh letter from the right of this queue of letters. So therefore, B, the, the letter P is corresponding to option B, so therefore option B, P is the right option. O turns out to be the first letter, which is wrong. R is the eighth letter, which is wrong. S comes as the third and the sixth letters, so that is also wrong. So the right option is option B, the letter P. So that concludes this episode of Viti Workshop. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. If you want to learn more about aptitude questions or questions from VIT Triple E or other examinations, then please don't forget to hit the please don't forget to hit the notifications icon, which is the bell icon that's present below the video. So until the next webisode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.